So congratulations, Stanley and Colin on Supernova. I'm not afraid to say that I was like bawling, ugly crying by the end of this movie. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine this is the kind of movie that is going to, you know, encourage this big emotional response from people. So I was wondering what have been some of the reactions that you've heard to it so far? Have there been any that maybe took you by surprise? Um, I think... Well, what, what I what I guess maybe I'm I just love the consistency of the response. You know, sometimes you do a movie and some people love it and some people hate it and some people. I mean, basically for the most part, overall, people are people love love the film. And listen, and that is a testament to Harry's incredible talent. It's a very hard thing to pull off a movie like this, um, uh, and he just. He just got it. He got it right. Yeah, I mean, I I was certainly surprised when the first reaction started to come in. Um, not because I didn't have faith that people would like the film, but um, the reactions were more intense than I had anticipated. Um, I think you know it was such a, a a small film in terms of scale, in terms of what it felt like doing it. It felt like a little family thing. It was just us, you know, we were far from everywhere. The, we were really were in a little van with three people in the back. Um, and it, it, it felt sort of unassuming at the time. And I, I, I did feel that there was something lovely happening. Um, but it was hard to imagine that it was going to get seen by a lot of people. It just, it just felt, it felt small, um, I suppose, just, just in terms of its sort of you know, being a tiny budget and small number of people. So I, I think I was, um, yeah, I was, I was rather bowled over when I heard some of the first, first responses. And of course, you guys, in terms of like your friendship, it goes kind of way back. And I think that really adds to your chemistry in the movie. But I was wondering, during the course of the movie, did you learn anything maybe new about one another? Well, I learned that Colin is much more patient on a movie set than I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that was a good that was a good lesson for me. I have a tendency to get uh, slightly impatient, uh, and that was the only argument we ever had. It wasn't even really an argument. It was just me being irritated and Colin going, "Just relax." Um, <laughs> so yes, that's what I learned about Colin. Okay. Okay. No, I. But I'd seen you be impatient before. So yeah. yeah no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really that astonished. Sort of am impatient. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we are like an old married couple, really. <laughs> oh, come on, it's cozy. No, it's ridiculous. No, it's not. It's nice. Oh, you're in the middle of the fucking bed, I'm isn't it? I am on the edge. Now I'm more on the edge. <laughs> I think we're really excited as well the fact that supernova is opening the dublin international film festival that's just so cool for us here in ireland um i believe you've both been over for the festival before so i was wondering what have been your impressions of it and what have been your impressions of kind of dublin more broadly speaking from your visit well we're both in love with it um we've, but dublin's one of the few places we've never been together until i suppose now in some form no great memories i mean i, I the, the time I spent, you know, most intensively in Dublin is a long, long time ago. I've made a few visits in recent years, which has made me just realize um, how, what a, you know, just, I have to fix that. I can't leave that amount of time and let that amount of time go by. I have great friends there and um, some of my most wonderful memories, both of, of working there with the crews, um, with, with the festival, being to the theatre in Dublin, being um, and just being in the place um, has always uh, just always really put a spring in my step. And I, I fell in love with it so completely, in fact, that I, I started to, I think, like quite a lot of English people, really hope that I had Irish roots. You know, I started sort of doing a bit of family tree investigation. Surely there's some Irish in me. It's still a work in progress. I haven't found it, but um, you know, it's it's it, it kind of gives you that feeling. I I would love to belong here. For yourself, Stanley. Yes, I well, I know I have no Irish roots, <laughs> um, and I'm I'm sad about it. But I I love it. I love it there. I've been a few times, and obviously for the festival, which was so much fun, and but too short. I was there for too short a time. Uh, the other times I've been there, 
yeah, but never for very long, unfortunately. But I've always had the had the best the best time. And um, as Colin said before in one of the interviews, that you know, it's very frustrating that we can't just sort of pop over and and be there now. But hopefully, hopefully next year. So you'll have to give us you have to give us an, another award next year, combined award. <laughs> I love it. I love the idea of that. Um, I know I'm running out of time. So I suppose my very last question for you guys, it's one that's just for fun. Um, but, you know, during lockdown, a lot of us have turned to kind of watching some movies and TV series. Have there been maybe two or three titles that maybe you'd recommend for people to check out that you've watched, whether you've revisited it or seen it for the first time? What, what have you watched, Colin? Um, I kind of haven't for the last few months. When During, should we call it lockdown one? Um uh, yeah, I went to, there were a, a few things I got, I watched, um, uh, I May Destroy You, uh, Normal People, um, uh, good goodness, what else? I saw Queen's Gambit, um, loved all those, um, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, uh, I loved, um, and then I went to some old movies, I found myself watching Hepburn Tracy stuff, you know, Adam's Rib, Woman of the Year, um, and, uh, you know, I think quite a lot of people have found comfort in, in nostalgia. And yourself, Stanley? Yeah, I've been watching some, um, some television stuff. You know, uh, I watched a lot of, when I was filming in Spain, I had a lot of time off and I wasn't able to come home because of the, of the pandemic. So I watched a lot of documentaries on Netflix, which was, which was great. Um, and um, I, I watched that one about the octopus. I can't remember what it's called. My, I can't remember what it's called, but it was incredibly moving. Um, uh, and then I just, my, my wife and I just finished um, It's a Sin, uh, which is about, um, you know, the, the beginning of, of AIDS and, um, uh, and its effect on, uh, on gay culture in the 1980s, 82, you know, absolutely amazing beautiful i could not stop could not stop weeping i saw the trailer for that actually yeah. i'll have to put that on my list for next yeah. um but i know i'm out of time unfortunately i could talk to you guys about this movie all day like i said it's just so beautiful so emotionally impactful so thank you guys for making it and like i said just well done it, it's a beautiful beautiful movie thank you so much thank you thanks Thank a lot So can you tell that it's gotten worse? I'd like to make a speech. I, uh, well, maybe, maybe Sam will do it for me. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to you do it for yeah, me. Cool. Now, as most of you will know, I'm slowly losing my ability to remember. And I definitely wouldn't be here if it weren't for this man next to me. I want to be remembered for who I was, but not for who I'm about to become. It's not fair to you. It's not about fair, it's about love. No, Sam. I want to see this through with you to the end. Costa! <laughs> hey, sorry. You know, a very wise man once said, we will not starve for lack of wonders, but from lack of wonder.